Welcome to Great Times with Games and my playthrough of Chrome Hammer Ascension, a cyber fantasy solo skirmish campaign game. This is cyberpunk mixed with magic and traditional Tolkien fantasy elements. Before I begin, I need to point out that I decided to not include the races for a couple of reasons, but mostly because I'm not a fan of the traditional fantasy races. If you'd like to see the specifics of how I changed that and also read up on the full campaign, I'm posting a link below. There you will be able to read the pre and post battle report and a little bit of narrative I'm adding in for fun. Let's meet the team. Nebula is a hacker by trade and has brought these rogues together. Legend is the muscle. Ecstasy, or Stacy as she prefers to be called, excels at getting in and out quickly. Override likes to lurk in the shadows, while Orbital dabbles in the occult. This is their first job. The objective is to sabotage Optologic Enterprises by hotwiring this electronic emitter. They will have a random 20 ticks timer in which to do this. There are also two data terminals which provide pay data. Pay data is integral to succeeding in the campaign, even if not in the actual mission. There are also two loot crates waiting to provide them with some much needed gear. Optologic Enterprises is a corporation that invests in artificial intelligence, but not always in the most lawful ways. During this scenario, some of these reinforcements and protocols may spawn. Alright, let's start playing! First thing is the order roll to determine how many orders I can give the team. Roll 2d6, keep the highest result. Let's give Override a move out action. Movement stat plus 1d6. 12 movement! On a 6 though, you lose a point of stealth too. He's moving a little too quickly, but he's made it to the loot. Now, let's have Nebula move out as well. 6 again! Another stealth lost. I think I'll have her head towards the objective. Let's bring Legend along with her. 1 for a total of 7 movement. He's not too far behind though. And that was 3 orders, so it's time for the enemy forces. On the opposite side of the table, in the left corner, there's a lone guard on patrol. In the opposite corner, we have three other guards. None of these guards are aware of the rogue punks on the opposite side of the table. This guard moves at patrol speed, which is to say at minus two. There isn't anyone in line of sight, so his turn ends here. The same happens with the other three guards. Okay, so that is the end of the first turn. I need to roll to see how much time has gone by on the 20 tick timer. Five. And we're back to the punks. Four orders this turn. Let's move Ecstasy. Yet another six which reduces stealth. I think I'll have her go for the objective instead and let Nebula go for the data terminal. Let's get Orbital moving. Wow, really? I, I did roll this. It's a little ridiculous. He'll join Ecstasy and maybe I'll think about sending him to the other data terminal. Override rummages through the trash with a safe cracker edge. Looks like he finds a cyber deck. Nebula will love that. Legend will move ahead and provide some possible cover for Ecstasy. The guard is still on patrol and no one in sight. The other three find themselves in the same situation. That's the end of turn again. And let's see how much time has passed. Five! That sucks. We're already halfway. The punks are going to have to move as fast as they can. Five orders. Ecstasy is on the move. Nebula is going to hack the terminal, losing one stealth in the process. And she fails! Legend will move into cover.
Orbital is also on the move. Going for that data terminal. He's out of sight for now. Override will move into cover with a patrol action. The guard patrols onto the main street and will have line of sight to a couple of punks. The closest is Legend. Time for a scan. He's in cover, so minus one to the threshold. Fail! So far so good. The other guards move out into the streets as well. No line of sight to override because of the car. But the leading guard does have line of sight to ecstasy. She's more than nine inches away and obscured, so he needs a one. Failed scan again. Not surprising. All right, let's see how much time has passed this turn. Three. Better. Still not great. Five orders activates everyone. Let's get the runner, Ecstasy, to the objective quickly. She'll still have to make it to the top, but her parkour edge will help her out. Orbital makes it to the data terminal. And Nebula just manages to hack her own. She's just found some important intel. Legend isn't going to reveal himself yet. He'll defend and hope to cover Ecstasy if the guard gets too close. Override is looking for higher ground and will keep an eye on the other guards. The lone guard moves towards Legend and scans the area. He fails the close call and so randomly moves elsewhere. Looks like he's going to check back where he came from. The other guards move closer towards the punks. They don't have line of sight to Orbital, who is the closest, but they have clear sight to override, so they'll scan. Wow, that was pretty lucky. Let's check on that timer. Now that's better. There's hope, but we're already at 15. It's going to be really tight. Five orders is perfect though. Ecstasy will use her parkour to climb both stories. One with the normal movement and the other with her edge. Not far now. Orbital tries to hack into the terminal, but fails. Override gets into cover and may be getting ready for some action. Legend's going to continue to defend and retreat out of sight. Nebula will lay low for now. Hopefully Ecstasy can hotwire the emitter and then everyone can just dash off into the night. The guard moves towards Nebula and scans. Things are going smoothly so far. The other guards move toward Ecstasy as well because she's threatening the objective. They can't see her though, so for now she's safe. Orbital, on the other hand, it doesn't look too comfortable. Somehow though, he's escaped detection. Timer roll. One. Wow. This turn was pretty close to perfect, I gotta say. And another good start with five orders. Let's get Ecstasy up to the objective. Orbital isn't running for cover just yet, and this time hacks in. More pay data. Override is in position and decides to draw attention away from Orbital. He shoots and hits. Ooh, and it's a heavy hit, almost taking the guard out in one shot. Now he's exposed though, so the corporation gains response points. One plus the stealth lost. Nebula thinks everything is under control and continues to lay low, moving towards the board edge. Alright, the guards are alerted and going for override. They shoot and miss. Since this is in firefight range, 
Ulrai can shoot back or retreat. He chooses to retreat since he's just trying to draw fire away from Orbital and Ecstasy. The other guard moves ahead as well, but doesn't have line of sight to override. She does on Orbital though, maybe Override should have stayed put. She scans and succeeds. There's something there, but she's not sure what yet. The Corporation gains a response point. The injured guard regroups before engaging in any more firefights. The lone guard continues to chase Ecstasy since she's threatening the objective. He can't see her though, so scans Legend. He loses 2 stealth plus another for being a heavy. The enemy also gains 3 response points. End of turn. No, The time is up! Mission failed! They were so close! All that's left now is to escape with a pay dad and cyber deck. It's better than nothing. It's going from bad to worse. Time for Optologic to bring in some reinforcements. Implant Infantry Squad it is. These guys are dangerous. And Legend is pretty much surrounded. Not looking good. Two orders is terrible right now. Let's get Ecstasy down from that building. Legend is going to get aggressive here. He charges the guard. He does two damage automatically. And an additional two damage after the roll off. The guard retreats. Legend is now exposed and Optologic gains some more response points. The Implant Infantry moves out and scans Ecstasy on the rooftop. One stealth lost. It could have been much worse. Time for this guard to look for cover. As does the other injured guard. These two guards move toward Override. The lead guard can't see him, but Orbital way off in the back is a viable scan target. He's doing a good job of hiding though. With no one in line of sight, the second guard gets a bonus movement. What initially looked like a smooth run is turning out to be anything but. Let's see if they can leave the scene soon. The corporation initiates the suspicion protocol. Every corp unit immediately makes a free scan on the punk nearest them and in line of sight. Oh geez. Ecstasy gets exposed by the implant infantry, but somehow Orbital continues to remain hidden. I thought it was going to be even worse. Yep, all those good rolls in the beginning are turning around now. I really wish I could get more orders here. Ecstasy moves down. Override will try to get away from the guards. Let's get creative and jump onto the van and then down on the ground. Unfortunately, that's two damage from the fall. The implant infantry is on the move. They engage with Legend. Oof. Hitting him with four damage. This guard will regroup. So will this one. And this one will continue chasing Override. He doesn't have line of sight yet, so he gets a bonus movement. He's right on his tail, but also suffers fall damage. And he's not alone as the female guard is right behind. Time for reinforcements. I roll a patrol drone, but luckily it starts way off in the top right corner. Hopefully it doesn't have time to get into the mix. So that's the end of another round and the punks are scrambling to get away. For a third time in a row they only get two orders. Well, Nebula is going to rise out of the shadows and engage the guard. Two auto damage for a charge from her hidden state. And let's see. Ah, a weak roll. She still does one damage though. Not enough to take him out, unfortunately. The guard retreats. At least he'll probably stay back and regroup next turn. Of course, now Nebula is exposed. That makes Orbital the only one still hiding. Legend is hurting, so he backs off and defends. 
But now that leaves Ecstasy as a target for the infantry unit and they move in to engage in an assault. One charge damage and roll off. Oh no! Another big hit by the infantry. She's left with one health remaining. She retreats across the street. But now this guard hunts her down. He engages her, causing charge damage. That's it! She's fragged! That happened really quickly and I've got to say, I'm pretty shocked. Optologic is happy of course that their units are doing their jobs. They gain two response points as well. It's not over though, as this guard moves towards Legend, ignoring the hidden orbital. And he's got a shot. It's not a good one though. And he misses. This guard regroups as expected. The female guard makes a move and puts herself in range of a shot at Nebula. Three damage! Luckily the patrol drone is far off in the distance. Time for more corp reinforcements. I roll propriety drivers. All punks with cybernetics start stunned at the end of this turn. Well, that will only affect override. So on to another punk turn with ecstasy lying fragged in the middle of the battlefield. Four orders! That's it! That's enough to get everyone off the board. Dashing away into the night, leaving their comrade behind, presumably dead. Who really knows? She's an android. Maybe she could be salvaged. But at this point, it's just too dangerous to try and take her home with them. Better to come back for her later than face the optologic units head on right now. Hopefully, they learn enough lessons in this mission to be successful in the next one.